think I wanted to know, I guess, like, um, because we're going to get there because you definitely just touched on something that I'm always critical about when it comes to college curriculums, when it comes to especially kids going to school, trying to get skills for the workforce. Mm. But I guess I was trying to ask more about maybe like different roles that you held in like cybersecurity, I guess. Ah, gotcha. So I can just like talk about uh, each one of my jobs. There's not that many, but um, the one in Hawaii was like a, it was just like information security analyst, but I was like one of the first analysts uh, to like start standing up the SOC where I was working. Um, That's like security operations center for people, if you don't know. Um, So that was like a, I was doing like some incident response and I set up some security tools like uh, the web proxy where we could um, block certain sites and stuff like this. And I helped set up the DLP system. That's like data loss prevention where it would like um, if somebody sent out like 500 social security numbers through email or something, it would flag it and be like, don't do this or whatever. Cause like data loss prevention, right? That kind of thing. And then um, I also like stood up the SIM, which was logarithm. Uh, SIM stands for Security Information Event Management System. It's like a thing that you can aggregate all of your security logs and correlate stuff and see what's happening in your environment uh, for people who don't know what that is. Um, So that that was really fun because I could define use cases and make alerts for the SIM and get like a lot of exposure. And that was a cool job. And I worked there for um, about a year. And then I was like tired of living in Hawaii. So we just like quit and went back to the mainland. And then, uh, gosh, where did I work? Um, I worked some like short contracting job at Avanad, which was like mostly software engineering, to be honest. Um, But after that, I got my next cybersecurity job. It was like a a different contract at Microsoft. It was kind of like a security analyst in GRC mixed with program manager, like cybersecurity program manager, where we would um, we would work with different teams in Microsoft and like the CIS people, like the what is that center of like CS central something internet security. I forget what that stands for, like the CIS framework people. And then we would kind of build like a, uh, a center for internet security, I think. And then we would build like controls like specific to Microsoft products, like in benchmarks. So like how to secure a uh, Microsoft Azure virtual machine, how to secure key vault, how to secure Azure storage account. And then we would make lists and then work with our kind of enterprise customers to see if they made sense. So basically we're like kind of building security controls for Azure. And that was like um, a lot of fun as well. And then eventually um, I got a job at King County. It's like a local government in Seattle. I was like a senior information security engineer, but it was for the GRC side. And uh, GRC stands for governance, risk and compliance. It's like a a domain of cybersecurity for those who don't know. And in that job, um, we were just doing like risk assessments for if like a new project came through. So for example, um, if you know what, how local government is, there's like a sheriff's office and like a, um, community, whatever human services for like, I don't know. And then like social services, like a bunch of different departments, like the court and stuff. And so basically when those departments would do like some project, it would come to my desk and then I would like look at the project, like what they were doing. And then I would evaluate it against a checklist and to try to figure out if they were storing any kind of like regulated data or something, and then make sure all the appropriate controls are in place. And then we just kind of like uh, make sure risk was reduced as much as possible before like letting the project, you know, go through the pipeline to completion. So it was like a lot of security paperwork. Um, After that job, I was like a vulnerability management program manager also in the same um, local government. Vulnerability management is just, like patching operating systems, uh, network devices and stuff like this, making sure like the organizational risk stays small, at least in terms of, you know, patching vulnerabilities and stuff on the assets. And then the pandemic hit and I ended up quitting that job. And then, um, a lot of stuff happened, but I, I ended up with the, the last, um, cybersecurity job I had. It was like more software engineering, the contract at Microsoft where I was doing like, um, a lot of automation for the security team at Microsoft. And that's that's where I ended at uh, 180K as a contractor. 